Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Great Irons Recap, sponsored by the attorneys of Keller and Holland and the Jason Coronio's team at Country Financial out in Libertyville. I'm Dan Irons out here at Conant High School, where it was a battle for the Mayor's Cup. The Mayor's Cup goes back to the Hawks once again. Complete, utter domination on both sides of the ball tonight. 28-0 is your final. I'm here with Jonathan Mayfield, and I'm here with Nathan Cleveland. Nathan Cleveland, three touchdown passes tonight. Uh, Nathan, just talk about keeping the Mayor's Cup and moving to 4-2. and two. And just trying to keep the Mayor's Cup at home. Um, no, it's a fight every year, no matter how good either team is. It's always a fight. And we just came out strong and defense held their own. Speaking of that defense, Jonathan, last week, Palatine ruined your homecoming, 49 points. Yeah. Complete 180 this, this evening, zero points. Just talk about your defense's preparation for the game and performance tonight. Like, uh, man, we just try to keep the Mayor's Cup home, man. Last week, uh, last week to go the way we wanted to play, to play. In, uh, so we just, uh, my last one, so we just try to keep the Mayor's Cup home our last season. So. Well, hey, we got a lot of highlights. Let's get to it. Annual Mayor's Cup clash between Conant and Hoffman Estates at Conant. Last year's game was a last-second nail-biter, a 45-44 victory for the Hawks. Cougars looking for some payback. Pick it up early in the first, Conant on the move, but then stopped in its tracks. Anthony Agunie, the sack. Cougars forced the punt. Hawks then marched down the field on its opening possession and made it deep in the Cougar territory, but a great goal line stand by the Conant D kept the game scoreless after one. Just four seconds into the second stanza, Hoffman Estates draws first blood when Nathan Cleveland hits speedster Matt Lawson for a 23-yard strike on fourth and three, seven-nothing visitors. Cougars try to counter, mounting a nice drive of its own, but on fourth and four, it's the Hawks D that comes up clutch and gets the turnover on downs. They would capitalize on the momentum moments later when Cleveland hits the Fawn Sellers on a 66-yard bomb that just sucks the air out of the crowd. 14-0 Hawks midway through the period. A little under three to go now. Hawks D cranking on all cylinders still. Jamie Wisdom snags the pick, and Hoffman is set up in scoring position. Quincy Williams then punches it in from one yard out, and the Hoffman lead balloon to 21-0 just before break. Hawks were not finished, though. Got the ball back quickly, and Cleveland then hooks up with Sellers for a second time, 28-zip at the half. Hoffman received the second-half kickoff, so the Cougars needed this big spark on defense, and they got it. Just 20 seconds into the third, Caleb Christoudis with the INT, and Conant was in business. And they went on a 10-minute drive from that point. A lot of those yards on the drive coming from workhorse Cooper Hansen, who had 151 yards rushing on the night. Cougars appear to have put points on the board with this Matt Mays TD toss. However, a penalty nullified the play. Conant could not convert on the ensuing play. And from there, the Hawks salted away the clock. 28-0 your final. Hawks now 4-2. Cougars drop to 3-3. Three three. Well, hey, that's it from Conant High School. For Great Irons, I'm Dan Irons.